Yep. It That's is. Really you do get outcasted. Yeah. We can't act like this isn't a thing. If you don't fit into that whole stereotype, they yeah. want to say you're not black or you a sellout or whatever. Can I chime in? Because it's, it's, it, there's this constant, like, like I, I feel like because what the media projects and propagates about black people, everyone seems to think that every black person has grown up in the hood, been to the hood, had a hood experience. And so they think that that's the worldview for all black people. And it's just simply not. And so going back to, because I really am exhausted with the constant like headline of bashing black women and black people just in general, black men, black women. It's like, is there anything else to talk about? The black community does it to itself though. Okay. Okay. Molly, can I finish? Love? And for us to be the minority, we have to say, and, and we're committing most of the crimes. We can't sit here and act like what? it's not we're a committing problem. Most of the crimes as the See, minority. And this, is why, and this is why I say what I'm saying, please allow me to finish. Um, but okay. this, this is why this is why I say what I say because we really have been, we really have been brainwashed to believe that we're the biggest crooks and criminals out here and and that cannot be no we're not but we also think but that we I don't do any Molly, wrong Molly, Go ahead. Can I please finish without you interrupting though thank you so all I'm saying is this we you had your experience because you grew up in the hood you know hood things you went on to get to school and they made fun of you for it I can't say that I had that experience and I grew up around all black people I went to a, a dominating white high school but there was a, a a big chunk of black people there my neighborhoods were all middle class to upper class black people right so there are there are levels to this and just like Dennis was saying What's being propagated is this byproduct of ratchetness, and y'all want to paint that picture overall, and it's not. And my issue that I have with the so-called joke, which was very tasteless, wasn't funny, um, that was a moment where they were pointing out the positive things of being with a Black woman. The positive sides of being with a Black woman will have a Black uh, uh any racist man, because let's be clear, if you are a, a black man that gets with a woman who's stylish or has it, whatever, she's going to elevate you in that realm, too. But it's a sight to see when it comes to white men, because we have this idea of how white men dress and how they act. But then when they get with a black woman, all of a sudden they take a little more pride in their appearance. Their hairline is a little more crispier. The swag is a little tighter. Right. That was a moment to be on. I mean, I'm sorry, to be to, to point out a positive factor in regards to black women, which is something that we don't usually see, especially on these platforms. And that white man had to use that moment to point out a negative stereotype about a specific type of black people and black woman and try to say, oh no, it couldn't be no positive aspect of them dating a black woman. It's because they getting hit in their face or they're always complaining. And that's what I just don't, that, I, I, I can't honor that. And we have to stop uh, sweeping over disrespect with, it was a joke. Because in the context of their conversation, he's a comedian. You guys will laugh at any that, other person you know that he talks about. He talks Molly, about everybody. Molly, Molly, I'll let you know when I'm finished, love. I love to hear your perspective, but not when I'm speaking. Thank you. So as I was saying, what what I'm saying is that that Look was tasteless. Boy. That in that moment, in that context, <laughs> in that context. They weren't joking. They were simply talking about the black wife effect. My question is, that was a positive moment. Why did he have to make a negative joke? Something so uh, 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 stereotypical and, 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 and something using his platform that will have other people believing this. I think it's, it's not a lie, you though. Listen, I was on this panel it, last it week. My, I was my, on this my, panel my, last my, week, my, and the man me. said, white men get a, a better version of black men than black men do. And I said, no, that is not true. And Andrew Sh Schultz sat there, and he proved my point. No, they do not always get the best version of a black woman. Sometimes they do get slapped upside their head. Sometimes they do deal with ratchet women. Like, they do. And, you and we know can't what? sit and here you and you say that what? we're being disrespected, and though. You know what, Molly? Because I've been cut off enough. Quite frankly, it's I'm the truth, to... no, girl. It's not listen, the truth. are you it's that the type truth. of black woman? Are you that type of black woman? Am I? Are is Carrie? Is Val? Me and is you are mama? not the same. Is we don't even carry ourselves peers? the same. Are right? any of your peers? Are any of my peers that way? No. So yeah, the, and I know wretched black girls that date really white men. Is. Like, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that you. My husband is white, Jazz. My husband is white. We're not about to have this conversation. When I'm sick, I literally am in a white. 
a German and English immigrant no, no family. No wonder you think the way you think, baby, because you what really do you believe, mean? You really believe that all black women are violent like that, and we're not. No, I don't believe. Do you and see me sitting here getting as buck as you are right now? No, you don't. Argue with me tonight, and I don't know why, because you never, you're not. Letting I'm not arguing with you, Jazz. Like you the one that's turned up, up huh? but you think that I'm not going to say anything because I, you're being okay, loud. But you're not even being respectful in this moment. I can't even finish my thought without you jumping. I in turned off my mic, and you were still talking. Well, no, I have been talking and you've been cutting me off, sis. So which one you, what stand you want to take? Because all I'm trying to get you to understand is that it's not cool. It's not cool for a white person to take a positive moment uh, speaking about quality black women and the effects and impact that they have on men right when they date them to making it seem as though black so women don't even like black women. Girl, I'm pretty I'm sure you will talk mess about a black woman in a blink of an eye. No, he made a I joke. Shit, I don't do corny shit like that. I'm not set up like that. My character is, I, I gain nothing by taking down my sister. I gain nothing by taking down my brother. I'm all about community. And that's why- Listen, I, I don't want the representation of me to be some ratchet woman, but that's what it not. is. Why? Because that's that? what's being portrayed on the media. Who told you that? Maybe make the stallions that. working on stage oh for Kamala God. Harris during Girl, a political gonna, event. I'm, Let's I'm start there. Young. Let's start there. But this is not a thing. This is our representation politically. Listen, and we're sitting here acting like we're not that. the butt of the joke. If you I took, I was not offended mom, because I know that there is some truth to that. I'm done, y'all. This is exhausting because you're 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 so fixated on believing what you've been. Josh, you just always want to be right. You don't like no, any pushback. But the right. thing I'm is, being very objective you have to saying. be open to other people's perspective. I, what you're saying. I understand, and I say that you are right. There are some black women, women in general, who can be violent towards their men. What I'm saying is that that is not the majority of our sisters. And I stood up for black women last week. I already understand. I understand this, but we still do have to be honest. Okay, we walking around with ridiculous that, looking BBLs. Moment? We're what constantly I'm loud. Like, come on, you go okay, around. Right. You, you know what? We're just terrible people. He was absolutely right. Uh, Andrew Schultz is absolutely right about black is women. Is there not We're room for improvement in the black community? Of course yes no? there is. And there's also room So what for are we talking about? Out. Of course, there's room for improvement, but do, do you also can you also agree that there's also room for improvement of people's perspective on how they view black women? Because if 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 if, if, if the view no, because every time I look on the news, I see the some black woman balanced, looking ratchet doing something mommy, ratchet. Like, so what are you paying attention to? Why are you always around such ratchetry? Because I'm not. Where do you? I'm not, now? but what's being what portrayed because the women to? that actually you have some the class, club? they're not doing that. Do you go to the country club? Do you hang out at uh, prestigious lounges? Do you go into political events? Do you do you really do you really communicate? Or, I'm sorry, uh, uh, are in community with quality black people, or is all you know is ratchet women? Because that's what it sounds like. Because I know the rooms that I'm in. Yeah, we like to have a good time, but we're elevated, intelligent. Listen, if that wasn't the, the case, these I'm white done. girls, all these. These no, other girls from all these other lady, ethnicities, lady, they sit there lady, and they do the same belligerent my, my stuff lady. that they see black girls do. They you, buying lips, so they buying butts. So why are we sitting here why acting you, like this is not a thing? I, we know that it's a thing, but it is such a thing that that's all you can consume that you forget about the other side of it, that there are positives to the black culture, that there are quality black people out here. The hyper fixation on everything negative in the community. What are the quality black people doing though? Are they shaking their butt? Clear, why don't you let me finish speaking, ma'am? Like How long you are you always dominate the top. You always How dominate long? the panels. It's, it's, you know what? You're right. You I'm dominate done. it. Y'all got it. I'm done. I'm done. And you are, y'all are what like point you are you trying to prove to me, though? If you believe that that is the majority of you, of the women that you're around, then I would suggest that you find better quality environments to hang around in. Because this at the end of the day, is what we're at showing the end of the day, Molly, off. At the end of the day, you are very white assimilating. At the end of the day, your, your mindset and your perspective is already skewed as a black woman because of what you do and how you do it and who you do it with, sis. And I yeah, because I you. saw that I where I grew up, all black it was a are, dead end. Are ratchet because that's what you've been told by the I don't think. So I don't that's think it, all that's black it, women are ratchet. What are you talking this. about? I'm, I'm done. The portrayal not, of black women you're saying that is I don't, ratchet. I'm not trying we to have that. embraced a very ratchet. Nobody is embracing What black that. woman Nobody do you look up to? That. That is what's Tell me what black woman. No, Jazz. What black woman do you look up to? Oh, my God. Do you have any black women you look up to? Girl, girl. I'm just in the public spotlight. You're committed to misunderstanding me. And I'm, once again, the one I understand you, but we have to, like, you can't just see things... Do you, you have gotta have some nuance. Look, look up to you. 
Do you have any black women you look what up to? What are you to? talking about? Every my black mother is black. black. My grandmother is black. Girl, get out of here. Get out of here. But I'm because talking about so as far as public figures. Who do we have representing us as far as public figures? Who are they taking to the White House? Glorilla. Who are they having dance on stage for political events? Make the stallion. So we not. I'm not about to sit here and do this with you today, Jazz. I'm really not. Okay. I love you today. I understand where you be coming from as a woman, but we have to be honest. You're not being honest. Kamala Harris showed us who our representation was. It was make the stallion. You want to sit here and tell me that that's not ratchet? It's ratchet to me. Maybe it's not ratchet to you. Maybe that's your norm. But for me, that's not my representation. Well, can we also agree that there are two different uh, subcultures in black? In the black community for the most part that's why black people are never going to get anywhere y'all have too many subcultures and cultures get on one accord finish. i was gonna finish you know what, what i'm saying say. i was I'm gonna just, say you know go ahead but i'm just saying okay. black people think? the whole black community is not on one accord we want to sit here and talk all of this and we want to say white people are so bad but y'all cannot stop giving y'all money to white people y'all can't y'all follow on white people footsteps y'all follow every single thing that they do but all of a sudden we can't be mad because we're being stereotyped but we will stereotype a white person in a heartbeat and i don't think ghetto has a color first off white people can be ghetto asian people can be ghetto Hispanic people can be ghetto. We see it every single day. And if you want to sit here and talk about where we get our culture from, what economics are saying, economists are saying that we get our culture from Southern redneck white people. I don't want to hear it. Like y'all have to come with a better argument than, oh, we're the best representation. So why aren't women who are a good representation of the black community put and put on those pedestals? Because all I see is stripper rappers. Okay. Well, so I'll, go ahead. I'll go ahead. And I was going to just say, first off, as far as the joke, yes, yeah, first off, as far as the joke, it was just a joke. I mean, yeah, I grew well, up I'm on raunchy. I, I grew up on raunchy comedy, so I'm like, it's just a joke. First it's off, joke. but number two, I want to talk about the two subcultures within the black community. You got hood <laughs> culture. Me, I was raised in church culture, and in church culture, I, as far as things in the hood, I never experienced that. So I have a completely different view as someone who was raised in hood culture, and those are just two. Just prominent cultures. I was in black raised community. in the church. But, oh, hold on, Marty. Hold on, Marty. Hold on, Marty. Let but I was going to say, as far as even with uh, white people, I was going to say, since we're a smaller demographic, like if you look at white people, I think they were like 60% of the population in the US, and they have a, a bunch of different subcultures. You have country white people, you have uh, prominent white people, you have trailer trash white people. It's like you have a bunch of different subcultures, but since they have a, they're a bigger demographic, they're able to nitpick. Like not every white person is like a scuba diver or someone that's going to take it and like do adventures and risk their life and almost kill themselves doing stupid stuff. Are there white people doing that? Yeah, but I'm saying as far as the jokes, it was just jokes. I don't think anybody. You know what the problem with that though is Dennis. What's problem? And I, and I understand where you're coming from. Is that we don't separate ourselves from every other culture does. Exactly. We don't separate ourselves. If if I say no, nah, I'm only going to align with people that's going in the direction that I'm going in. Then then I'm called. We call it sellouts. Mm -hmm. I just I I never. I don't I have mean, to align so, myself with make the stallion and all of them. I don't. Can I can I say something in regards to I, this? I, I just, I've thing? never seen you get thirty anymore. seconds. You don't tell me what I get. <laughs> <laughs> so what hey, I'm saying. It was a so, joke. Relax. All right. Well, make it funny next time. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that when it Get comes to who time. Kamala Harris and them, when it comes to who Kamala Harris brought out, that has nothing to do with us. That is propaganda 101. That's that, our no, representation. Molly, please. Hold on, Molly. Hold on, Molly. Please, hold on, Molly. Molly damn. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Molly, you're cool. doing a lot. Hold on, Molly, cool. Jazz, no, Jazz, you look yeah, on every yeah, panel yeah, yeah. doing a lot. Don't I start don't, with me today. Mm -hmm. I know I'm, I'm usually ladylike and quiet, you. but don't and get you it never, twisted. You're not even letting me get my words out, girl. Go, go ahead. ahead. But all you do is talk. You never say it's anything, a beautiful though. Wig. So go ahead and talk, I, I, Jazz. I see you. It's a beautiful okay. wig. Girl, boo. I, you have seen my hair before. My hair okay, is killing well, yours. And don't make it about my hair. Don't make it about me. No, don't make it about me, though. You all in Chicago. Don't make it about me, honey. So what I'm saying is this. I'm extra spicy on. every day, so you oh, might as well learn who you're talking to. Don't come at me like you come girl, at every I've other woman that comes on this panel, Jazz. Okay, I've okay, you are a long time ago. Okay, you sleep with a white man that says everything. So, what I don't work, there's a lie. I don't work. 
<laughs> ladies. I don't ladies. punch a clock. I don't have to get up in the morning and go good work for your boss. And then good go answer you. to Bravo. a man at the end of the day. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Don't nobody give a fuck. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Listen. Goofy ass. She doesn't hey, even look yeah. like I'm brainwashing. Hold you. on. Jazz. <laughs> Jazz. That's fun. Ladies. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not bothering me. Hold on. It's not bothering me. You're kicking it off with me. Girl, Look at the chaos. I, I haven't cut this girl off yes. all night. Can you give me one second? Go one ahead. Because y'all not going to make me look like a fool. Yes, you can't even let me. Doing a good job. So listen, 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 y'all. Let's not attack personal. And the reason that I don't want y'all to attack personal, even though it is great entertainment, I don't want y'all to do that because after we cut this live stream off, it ain't no personal beef. It's it's all we. I just want to leave it on the panel. Real talk. We don't we don't got no animosity towards each other. Everything is cool. Everybody respect each other. Everybody just passionate about what they saying. All right. So I'm gonna kind of try to run a little bit more interference to allow people to get their points off. Go ahead, Jazz. All right, so all I wanted to say, and I'm going to be done with this, when it comes to why Kamala Harris brings out who she brings out, that is very strategic, strategically planned and designed because the overall consensus of how they want people to view black people is ratchet, is degeneracy, is, is wholeness and stripper that, right? So they pander, they pander to bring these people out to make it seem like this is what the black people want. This is, they're not going to bring actual good quality leaders in our communities right now that are actually doing the work, that are actually moving things forward, that are in the youth, that are uh, in the communities actually doing the work. No, they're not going to do that because that doesn't bring ratings. So you have to understand what you're watching is all smoke and mirrors. Miss Molly, and you cannot sit here and say that just because you've been brainwashed to believe a racist supremacist rhetoric about black people that it is the truth. All I'm saying is this, while there are some ratchetry like uh, Dennis has been trying to explain, there are subcategories, just like within every culture there are, right? But you seem to believe that black people are the only ones just acting a fool as if we haven't been strategically placed and designed to be in the, in the place that we are. Now, with that being said, you have to know that there are a uh, a, 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 a sub excuse me, a subculture, a very intelligent, elevated, eloquent, uh, entrepreneurial black women and men out here today that are really doing the work. Now, if you don't know them, that's on you. But don't sit here and be hyper focused on the negative side and try to paint the picture for it all because that's just simply untrue. That's just it. And all and and when it came back to that joke, I'm just saying, can we ever find a time to allow a space to speak positively about the impact of dating a black woman? Because there are plenty of uh, stories of positive happenings between black men, black women, black women and white men. And that man sat up there and had to make it very stereotypical stereotypical in the name of a joke when it was unnecessary. And you want to sit here and say it was necessary because we need to call out the truth. Him doing that shit is not helping nothing. Him doing that is not uh, ceasing any type of registry or any type of disgust that you may have against your own people. So that's why I have a problem with it. And I have a problem with those men that sat there and he, he and ha ha instead of said it with their chest and say, hey bro, relax. That ain't that ain't really how uh, black women are. So if we can stop hyper focusing on all the negative sides of things and use our intelligence and understanding that there is a positive, then maybe we can get somewhere. Then maybe you will say we 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 don't we we we're actually progressing and we don't have these problems. But you're fixated on what you've been told to fixate on, and that is to look down on black people. And that's a, and I feel sorry for you for that, honey. Okay, so, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Molly, did you want to respond? Go ahead, Anton. I'll let you say whatever you have to say. Well, no, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm, 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 I want to give y'all the floor to say what y'all want to say. I just want everybody to be able to hear. Is nobody going to be able to hear if y'all talking over each other? Yeah, I understand. Um, obviously, if this is what we are being shown as Black people, this is what we're embracing, or at least that's what we're showing them we're embracing. So if we're so great, why are we last in everything what do black people have and this is not me being racist i'm black but the question has to be asked what makes black people so like what makes us so special because we can be entertainers what industries do we own answer that question for me well hold on hold on all right so we're gonna let's hold on for a second 
Val, did you want to say something? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm coming to Carrie and, and Toya after that. And then I'm going to let the guys, if y'all want to say something, you don't have to say something, Toya. No, no, no. I want, to, I want Val and then Carrie and then Toya. And then I'm going to leave it open for the guys and for anybody to say what they want to say after that. But I just wanted to run some interference to make sure that everybody didn't get their thoughts out clearly. Okay. So I want to address the question, are Black women getting an unfair shake and do they deserve the reputation? I don't think Black women listen. And the reason why I say this is because we don't listen to how people experience us. And that means Black men, that means white people, it means other cultures. How do other cultures experience us? How do they see us? And I think we get triggered when things are brought out or pointed, pointed out the issues of Black women. We get triggered. We, we, want to, we, we get very and highly emotional because we think people are beating up on us instead of just being silent and listening to how people experience you. Most Black men, we, we already know, as Anton said, that black people are not a monolith. I mean, we already we already know that, as Anton said, that you know we know that black people aren't a monolith. We know general. We know there are subcultures. We know that not every black person or every black woman is X Y Z. We know that. But if you listen to how black men as a whole and in general how they experience black women. Just ask them and listen to what they say and don't say anything. Don't defend yourself. Stop defending black women. Stop defending yourself. If you listen and you be quiet, you will understand where people are coming from and you'll understand how people experience you. And I think because we are so emotional about and we're hurt, we're, we're hurt that people say this about us. We're hurt that, you know, we feel that we are being attacked. We are operating from de a defense mechanism instead of listening and taking it in and saying, okay, well, do I operate like that? And if I do, then maybe I need to change up my tactics. Maybe I need to change up how I communicate. Maybe I need to change up how I how I move how I move with other black men or other people in my life. So so I think that I think a lot of black women are moving from their pain instead of moving from just being silent and listening and observing how people experience you. If you really want to be honest and be realistic, most black, most people experience black women the way they say they experience black women. <laughs> but we're not listening to that. And that's why I say women, we don't, we, I'm going to specifically talk about us because I'm a black woman. I grew up in the hood and I grew up in, in some white neighborhoods. I got both. And I've been told that I speak like a black woman. I've ha I've had both. I've, I've been told I'm not black enough. I'm too. I'm not white enough. Whatever. I don't subscribe to any of that bullshit. What I do do is shut the fuck up and listen. And I think we need to start doing more of that because that will take you a lot farther than trying to defend yourself on how people really are experiencing you. And. Another point I wanted to make is most Black families grew up without a father. We are a very matriarchal culture. We grew up without fathers, so we don't have a Black man experience in our lives. Most of us do not. I'm not saying all. Most of us do not have a Black male experience and figure in our life. That 
attributes to how we communicate with black men. If you had a black father in your life, we would not be ex we would not communicate the way we communicate to black men and to other people. So all I'm saying is instead of black women always being on a defense when when someone or some culture points out something that we may be deficient in or an issue that we may have, instead of being defensive about it, just be quiet and, 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 and observe how other people are experiencing you as a black woman as a whole.